Hello. Can you hear me? Are you there? So I guess I had to put my headset on. Cool. So, anyway, like I was saying, um, 
COVID has been really hard on everybody. Um, unfortunately, I have been unemployed since May. Um, trying to get jobs is really hard. Uh, you apply and apply and apply and um, online because that's how everything is now. There's no paper applications like before in the old days where we could just fill out an app and turn it in to the manager and maybe get an interview. It's always online. And then you wait to hear. And sometimes you get an interview. I had one the other day over the phone and she exactly told me that um, I was 20 people, one out of 20 people. And then out of 20 people, it would be down to four people. And then the, if you were chosen out of the four people, then you would get a live um, interview. So I hope everybody's out there staying safe. Um, hopefully that um, you guys are doing okay through this. Hopefully the vaccine will come out soon. They keep promising a vaccine. When that vaccine will be, who knows? And who's going to bring it out? Is it going to be Moderma? Is it going to be Pfizer? Who's it? Who is it going to be? Um, I've heard several things. Um, how does everybody feel about Biden being our president? Does everybody like that Biden won? Well, according to Trump, he's still wanting to recount everything because <laughs> he doesn't want to accept the loss. <laughs> but you know, that's how it is. Um, I want to know um, who's there. I see HRI 1000. Is that it? HRI 100. Sorry. So um, if you're with me, you want to type something. Oh, you don't think that you'll get the vaccine. Hmm. Why don't you want to get the vaccine? Do you think that it's bad? I don't know. My camera is like going in and out. I just don't trust medical companies. Yeah. You can't trust a lot of people. I don't trust the hospital. You can't even go to the hospital. I don't tr trust the doctor's office. Even when I have a fever, just it's not good. They wanted you to do telehealth, which is pretty cool to do telehealth visits. But they can't even really um, diagnose what your problem is when you do telehealth. You know, they just, you just tell them your symptoms. But a lot of people don't um, trust the medical medical companies. Um, so I'm trying to think what all you guys want to talk about. I mean, have you liked my videos that I put up of me dancing? I put some videos up of me dancing. I like them a lot. <laughs> I was having fun while I was doing it. It was a little bit on the fly. Um, so, is there anything that anybody wants to talk about? Give me some ideas. Um, tell me how uh, it's going for you during this time. I just found out about... You and I don't even know what your channel... I just found out about you. I don't even... I don't know even what your channel is about. Well, um, I've done some gaming videos in the beginning. And then I went from gaming videos to some yoga videos and glute workouts. And then I did a couple of um, blogs where I... Um, vented a little bit in the beginning. Um, I always don't do the same content. I was gaming, but the gaming uh, videos 
didn't get too many views. I did do one uh, where I did my computer, um, my RGB um, video, and I got a lot of views off of that. I mean, I do a lot of different content. I did um, different things. Sounds very versatile. Mm, yeah, it's just I don't have a I haven't found my niche, as they say, my niche yet, I guess, of what exactly that I want to do. Um, but in the channel description, um, around the tab, about the tab, there's a description of what I do. It's like um, blogs, um, yoga, um, try-ons, uh, gaming. I do a little bit of everything. Um, I've been trying to think of content to make because, like I said, the um, gaming videos are fun and exciting to do. Sometimes I've I mess up because I'm not that good at um, the keyboard, the WASD, <laughs> and my mouse. I get kind of crazy where I'm looking up all over the place rather than going through the doors. And uh, my trusty um, gamepad, it I sometimes don't know how to work it too well either. Um, remember, I am old school, so um, what games do I play? Um, first person shooter type games. I played, um, some, uh, like BMX games. I played, um, um, Red Dead Redemption. That's kind of a very long game to play. Um, I play all different games. I did, um, a couple different uh, games and Tom says W A D C. Oh, the simps are gonna love you. Not for sure. What is W A D C? And I played Fortnite. What's W A D C? I do W A S D. W, A, S, D, W to go forward, A to go right. I'm sorry, A to go left, D to go right, S to go back. What is W, A, D, C? Oh, yeah, I played Gears of War. Um, played a couple of them. Um, my favorite one, I will tell you, my favorite one, um was the oh what's it called the soccer with the car game i gotta think of the name of that one <laughs> yeah i have a gamer chair okay yep my golden claw i have a gaming chair i do play games that's why i got my headset Got big microphone. Tom, what do you mean? What do you, W A D C? Are you there, Tom? What is W A D C? And I don't know what he trying to put sounds or reverse. Uh, what games do I play? W A D C. Tom is here. He just typed very slow. Okay. <laughs> well, there's three people. So I think there's Bianca, Sweetie, HRI 100, and Tom, but that would mean four people. So I don't know. We're a long time buddies with him. Oh. So, um, what games 
Do you like to play? Um, you jump through streams. Okay. But anyway, um, I want to talk about that um, how 2020 has really been hard, I think, on a lot of people. I don't know. Um, it's just changed, changed the way that we live. I'm the golden goose at the moment. Okay. I don't know what the golden goose at the moment is, but is that a good thing? <laughs> um, oh, that's a good thing, though. Okay. If you say. Trying to see. I'm on um, Instagram. I have an Instagram page, well, channel, and I have a couple other channels. Oh, do I believe Bill Gates is responsible for the corona? <laughs> uh, I think Bill Gates has a big part in the coronavirus. Um, oh, yeah, I thought about my favorite game, Rocket League Wreckfest. That is a fun game to play. Um, and they just came out with a new one. But um, I, uh, with Bill Gates, um, it's kind of hard because um, he was the big giant of... Microsoft, and then somehow got out of Microsoft. And then the next thing I know, I see Bill Gates and a few other people with, dealing with the coronavirus. And I'm like, why is Bill Gates even how can I say, why is he even involved in it? And then I'm like, he does have a lot of money. He does have a lot of power. But it's so strange how that came about. Um, it's really hard. To... I don't know, really hard to explain with that. Then I know like Anthony Fossey, Dr. Anthony Fossey. I I don't know about I I believe him a lot of times over anybody else. And <laughs> so he's letting me he make more money in a minute than me for a month. Uh he makes more money for me. He makes more a lot of money more money for me in a minute than a year for me, <laughs> not a month. Um, <laughs> that, that was a good one. I like that one. So, um, do you think that Bill Gates is responsible for Corona? I mean, I know that they said it came from China, that it was brought here, but SARS was here, um, before Corona. SARS had start what, three, four years ago. And, uh, also Bill Gates was in Africa which is really strange. Why would Bill Gates be in Africa? You don't know what to believe anymore. It's possible. 
Yeah. And the testing. Um, do you know, do you believe in the testing? Um, he was doing the testing in Africa, I guess. But do, do you think that they have so many, like when you go and they swat, they make you do your nose thing and then they send it in? Is it a positive? Is it a negative? Is it a false positive? And then there's people that are asymptomatic. So you may not have a fever. They, they screen you. Um, do you have a fever? Do you have vi diarrhea? Have you been vomiting? Um, have you been around anybody with COVID? Well, if they're asymptomatic, how do you know? But um, I want to talk about uh, other things like tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Is everybody going to have a good Thanksgiving? Turkey, ham. Oh, you didn't hear about the testing, but I heard he made vaccines that killed a lot of people with vaccines. Oh, yep. Okay. That's great. Um, with him being in Africa, he probably was. But you didn't hear about the testing, but you heard he made vaccines that killed a lot of people with the vaccine. With him being in, in, in Africa, I guess was he killing African people? with the vaccine or I don't know, but that's not good. We, we need a vaccine that I don't, I don't even know because I heard the vaccine was going to be like a chip where they put a like chip and know everything about you. Oh, you don't know where the people were from. Hmm. That's really messed up. I didn't. I didn't realize that um, that they were killing a lot of people with the vaccine. I know that they were testing. I didn't know that they were killing people with it. Yeah, there's supposed to be two vaccines that are ready. Um, they're trying to push them through, but I don't even know if I could trust those vaccines. Like I said, are those vaccines? Oh, you joined the stream where they talked about late. Oh, yeah, they said in December, hopefully a vaccine will come. But I don't know. Um, just depends. You joined the stream where they talked about it late. I haven't really been... Keeping up, I I have Google News on my phone, and I would go there every day to check out the um, news. But it gets kind of depressing, and then they promise this, they promise that, and then stimulus and no stimulus, and government shut down, and now you got to close down the bars and the restaurants, and only do takeout and. The gyms aren't open and and everything like that. But the I guess that the army and the military is supposed to enforce the vaccine. That's kind of scary. Sorry about I miss a lot of words when I type. I'm not an English speaker. <laughs> That's okay. I understand. I pretty well got what you were saying. So, where are you from? Well, it's, um, oh, Eastern Europe. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I, um, on my Instagram, I met a guy supposedly from the UK, London. Um, like I said, I do a lot of talking on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on my Instagram channel. 
mostly pictures um, and my other sites. Eastern Europe. Cool. So you guys in the UK right now are under lockdown because I know one of the Instagram guys that's really big on Instagram, I don't know if you're familiar with it, is Ted Pullen. He's really big on Instagram. Um, a couple people are really big on Instagram, but a lot of the stars have taken over Instagram. But, um, yeah, I haven't played many games because I've been online looking for work. Um, like I said, filling out online applications and just waiting. I don't know about the UK. Are they really in lockdown? Yeah, they're they're in lockdown. That's um, what I understand. Anyway, that's what he said, that they're in lockdown. Where in Eastern Europe are you from? You're not in lockdown? I wish I had um, started my live stream at 2 like I was supposed to. Um, then I might have many people. UK is West Europe, dummy. Okay, so you're Eastern Europe. So where exactly in e Eastern Europe are you from? So if the UK is West Europe, I'm not trying to be dumb. <laughs> I'm just saying that I know that in London and things like that, they were they were on lockdown. But I'm I'm even trying to find remote work. But a lot of people, when you go for remote work, they want to go into your PC to check your settings to see if um, you can handle what they need you to handle and your computer. And I don't want to give up all my, I don't want them to go into my computer and see everything that I have and be looking at all my programs and doing stuff like that. Bulgaria, if you know where that is. I doubt, though, we're a small country. I know where Bulgaria is. Oh, and you say dummy for a joke. Not seriously. I know where Bulgaria is. Just Eastern Europe is like a broad span. Like I can say I'm from the United States. Where in the United States? I mean, United States is huge. 51 states. I could be from anywhere in the 51 states. So Eastern Europe, Western Europe. I mean. A lot of people don't think of getting out the map and going, okay, here's the U.S., Here's Africa, here's Europe, here's Finland, here's um, Germany. 51, I thought they were only 50. Um, I believe they made Hawaii. I think there's 51 states now. There was, they, they somewhere made it a 51 state. I can't remember exactly where it is, but... If you look it up, I believe they said that there's 51 states now. Because somebody that wasn't a state before has now said that they're a state. But I thought it was, no, Hawaii has been a state of the United States. But they said that there was, there was normally 50, but somebody did say 51 where I read that they said 51. Can't remember where it was, though. I want to say there was a place. It wasn't Hawaii. It was some place that wasn't recognized as a state. They were recognized as a thing. I'm right. I just Googled it. It says states. How many? There are 50 states in the U.S. Okay. Somebody was trying to make a 51 state, though. Can't remember where it was. I, want, I don't want to say Pennsylvania. But there was somewhere that was a, um, oh, it was a, I can't remember what it was. 
I'd have to I'd have to Google it. I'd have to get it out. I can Google it. Anyway, is Texas the biggest state? Mm. California's pretty big. Um, it's huge. I don't know if the Texas is the biggest state, but it is it is big. Something is wrong with my phone. It will not let me Log into my phone. There we go. Okay. Let me see here. We can say biggest. Well, actually, when I said biggest state in the U.S., it pulled up Alaska. Alaska has the largest land area in the United States, followed by Texas and California. So Texas is big, but it does say California. Um, Alaska has more land than Texas, California, and Montana combined. Alaska, so... Has more than Texas, California, and Montana combined. Um, trying to think. I wish I could remember who was in there. Are you a fan of Frozen, or do you have kids? Yeah, I have kids. Oh, you're looking at my you're looking at my bags down there. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been to California actually. I went to um San Diego and um I took a Greyhound bus. Oh, oh long story. From Illinois to San Diego it took me four days to get there. Cray cray. But yeah, I have kids. I have four kids. Two of my children live with me. Um, my boys do not. I have two girls. and My oldest and my youngest live at home with me. Um, my two boys, one has been away from home for about eight years. Um, my other son got married now two years, I believe, ago, 2017, 18, 19, 20. In December, he'll be married, I think, three years. I think, yeah. But, um, yeah, I got a lot of birthday bags over here that I keep. Christmas bags. I save all the um, tissue paper um, to reuse it. Then I have my old games over there. Um, those are the games that I'm used to playing. Are those walk? Are those walkie and sticks? Walkie and sticks. Walkie and sticks. If you know that this right here is this right here is my camera tripod. Camera tripod for my camera. Walking. This right here is my tripod for my camera. Um <laughs> yeah. I um mount my camera on there. And my um oh, 
See, my my games that I used to play. Space Invaders. Ah. And my football game. Do you remember this game? I don't know if you remember this game. This game was fun as heck. And Space Invaders. Yeah. I need to have a Pac-Man one. Then I'd really do good. Or Miss Pac-Man. These are... I got these. I couldn't believe that I found these. I don't know if you remember these or not. Don't know what age that you're from. You have pro equipment. Oh, yeah. I got a big light. Um, I got a big camera. Put them back. Got my Nikon camera in there. And I have another camera back back here. Voila. With my little tripod. Yep. This is what camera I use and I mount it. If I don't have it on here, I mount it on my tripod if I'm doing something. But I like this because it like bends. Like you can have it all kinds of ways. <laughs> Did a lot of things on here. Holding it easy like this. That way I could like do my own thing. <laughs> Are you 23? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 23. Man, 23 again. Let's see. Are you a tech geek? Um, sometimes I'm a tech geek. It just depends. Uh... Sorry for going off screen. Just trying to put my camera back up. Are, are you a tech geek? <laughs> I don't know. I just like um, playing games. But I'm like I said, I'm I'm an old fashioned gamer. The new games that I've been playing, that's why I think like the Terminator Resistance, a little bit hard. Am I still searching for work? Yep, still searching for work. Need a job. Anybody got a job out there? Yeah. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. Got a little dry, thirsty there. So, oh, I got a Coke. <gasps> Should I say Coke? Hmm? I could say, are you a Coke or a Pepsi drinker? How long has it been since I worked? I said since May, which is sad. That's June, June, July, August, September, October, November, six months. Yes, I have a scam calling company. Do you want to work for me? How am I able to pay my bills? Um, uh, it's been hard. I've had to ask my six sister to borrow money several times. Um, do all different kinds of I, I, my other channels that I have. Um, I try to make income off of them. No way I wouldn't. <laughs> but you have a scam calling company. 
Oh my god. But what do you do for a living? I haven't seen um <laughs> for when you scam you get a hundred dollars, but you don't know me if the cops come to you. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. Can't believe oh my god. I think like um my party favors fell on the floor. Um, so what do you do? What's your true line of work? Not the scam company, but what do you do for a living? Um, security. Security at twenty three. So, how do I pay my bills? Uh, I have a support uh, person that pays my bills. I don't receive any unemployment benefits, unfortunately. Um, I have, like I said, I have a support, um, because I said that I don't qualify for unemployment, a support, a sugar daddy. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, no, he's not a sugar daddy. Um, he's actually, um, a disabled veteran in the military. Yeah, because sweetie thinks LOL. But he supports me. And my kids. You're asking Bianca, sweetie, what is cool? Um... So is there anything that anybody wants to talk about? I mean, I came here just to see and to talk about how 2020 was going. I want everybody to... I wish everybody could, they're saying, like, don't even get together for Thanksgiving with your family. That's sad. 2020, the best and the worst year at the same time for me. Oh, okay. So what was the best part of 2020 for you? I grew a lot spiritually. Oh, that's nice. At 23, you grew a lot spiritually. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Bianca Sweetie said there's a site called OnlyFans. They're doing good there, I heard. Yep. 
OnlyFans and Frisk and Patreon. I've heard of those. Yep, and there is a lot of competition with uh, the celebrities. I've heard that some girls make like $15,000 a day. I'm like, oh my God. LOL OnlyFans, are you kidding me? What's wrong with OnlyFans? OnlyFans are models. And... Um... Sluts. Why do OnlyFans models gotta be sluts? I don't think so. I think it's women trying to make money because the um, pandemic has made it hard. And a lot of women have to stay home with their children. Like my daughter, my youngest daughter, um, she does all remote school now. I didn't want her to go to, they wanted her to go to regular school. Um Two days a week, go to classes, and then three days online. And I uh, was able to um, get her all, on, all online. And a, and a lot of people have lost their jobs. Like um, hotel, That's I used to be in the hotel business. I was the general manager um, for three years at a hotel that I worked at for 12 years. I was the GM there. Um, I left there, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances. I then went to work at another hotel. Um, that was in March when COVID came to the U.S. And it wasn't very um, uh, sanitary. They didn't have any sneeze guards up. Nobody was wearing masks. It was just like. Everybody touched the same pens, used the same pen. Um, it's scary. The elevator, um, the coffee pots. You have people from all over the world flying to stay at a hotel. A lot of people come to see their loved ones, especially where I live. Um, near the military base, you have a lot of... Uh, Moms and dads that come. Is the mafia guy still good people for you and the sluts and immoral? Oh, Bianca, sweetie said she might be doing some video games for YouTube because it's remote and can be rewarding if you can get subscribers. Yep. You got to get a thousand subscribers to get monetized. Um, is, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and viewing, viewing time. So, where did, um, where did the, um, Trying to see. Yeah, did, did Tom leave? I was trying to see what Tom meant by WADC, and he never responded. Yeah, I think if I would have had... um came on it too like I was supposed to but I got like I said tied up it was kind of crazy trying to get medicine and traffic and it's pretty bad kind of hard <laughs> my hair wants to stick out Let's see, you had 39 
thousand subs in 2014, but they banned my channel. Before 2017, you had a chance making money on YouTube, but after 2017, good luck with making anything. Wow. So you had 39,000 subscribers in 2014, but they banned your channel. Why did they ban your channel? What did you do that they banned your channel? Oh, Bianca Sweetie's asking why you got banned. Can everybody still hear me? Am I still, do I still have a speaker? Hello? Can somebody let me know if I still have a speaker? Do I have, aha, uh -huh. okay, good. So you said before 2017, you had a chance because they made new rules and didn't give me a chance to remove any copyright stuff. Oh. So you had copyrighted material on your site. And since you had copyrighted stuff on your site, they banned you. Hmm. So I, I don't know where, um, ah, yes, exactly. Yeah. But didn't you know that copyright stuff would get you banned from YouTube? I mean, I don't know. Just checking my phone. Oh, no, before. Oh, have you had a copyright strike? Have I had a copyright strike? Crazy for the 80s gal? No, because I would not put copyrighted stuff on my channel. Um, no, before 2014, that wasn't the case. Oh, so... Before 2014, it was okay to have copyrighted material. Oh, oh Bianca Sweetie said, is it music? Hmm. Oh, how do you know? Hmm. Bianca Sweetie knew that it was music. I didn't know it was music. Copyright could be anything. You could copyright a lot of different things. Yeah, I'm asking her. Oh. Well, I'll let her answer. Because I know copyright could be like all different things. Ah, uh, you guessed it, yeah. I mean, you can copyright many different things, not only music. I mean, you can copyright um, different things. You could do plagiarism. I know when I was in college about, uh, let me see how long it's been, about five, six years ago. Um, 
five or six years ago, I think was when I was in college. I know that um, plagiarism was a big thing. I wonder why my game, there we go, get it back plugged in. Yeah, and they will keep changing. Trying to get some more people in here. I'm trying to go to um, my Instagram. So let's see, there are always ways to get over rules, but it's no longer worth it. Uh, this is true. So, you never answered. Do you think that Bill Gates um, has anything to do with the virus? I know you said that about him killing people. Um, what do you think about Dr. Anthony Fossey? So, you think that this was all a planned thing to kill people? Look up the chat I answered. You say you don't know what to believe. You don't know what to believe anymore. Right? You heard that he made vaccines that killed a lot of people. With vaccines. I don't know what to believe anymore. It's possible. And about his money. Yeah. I just didn't know if you. If you. Uh, what your thoughts were. So your security. Security, where are you security? Can I ask where are your security? My thoughts are it could be true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to believe myself. Oh, at a private business building. Mm -hmm. Sounds exciting. Do you enjoy it? Do you carry a gun? <laughs> Do you guys carry a gun? Oh, it's boring at sometimes. 
You're gonna make it fun. I want to do a um a thing on Instagram real quick to let them know to come. And join the channel. OFC, oh, I carry a gun, but I never use it on um, people. I mean, <laughs> you carry a gun, but you never use it on people. Well, okay. So you never shot anybody before. That's good. But. Bianca Sweetie saying that she heard the army is going to probably be called in to enforce the vaccines, although I believe that would be a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You said you carry a gun but never use it. Ah, uh, should I tell you about my guns? I have some guns. I have um, a handgun. And I have a rifle. If you look at my Instagram page, I have a picture of my rifle on my back. But that's on my Instagram. Like I said, I've, I've been really not able to... Um, I would use the gun at the enforced vaccine on me. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I never used a rifle. Yeah. You'll use the gun if they enforce the vaccine. So is it your personal weapon that you use or is it one that the company gives you to use? Trying to get my people on my Instagram. A lot of them aren't on right now, though. Tells me when they were active. I want to do like a big shout out. Oh, I have one personal one and one they gave you at the job. Hmm. So do you carry your personal one uh, at the job? Or just the one that they gave you? What Instagram tell you when someone was active? What's next? They tell you their location. Sinbad. Uh-oh. Something popped up on my screen about Sinbad, the comedian. Wonder what happened. Oh, Bianca Sweetie says she's private about her guns. Next, the government will want to take them. Good luck trying to get the guns away from me because you know how you said you will use the gun if they enforce the vaccine? I will use my guns if they try to take my gun away from me. I'll just shoot them. I don't care.
Um, so it's is you said Tom comes and goes that he um does streams. Um, I know uh, there's Bianca Sweetie, then there's the HRI 100 security guard, and I wonder who my third person would be. I'd like to get to know. And you said, um, what Instagram tell you when someone was active? What's next? They tell you their location? No. I just chat with people. Um, in U.S., everyone has guns. What's up with that? In my country, only cops, military, and security are allowed to have guns. Uh, it's our right to carry weapons. We have a right to carry them. We have to get um our permit. And then if you want to have a conceal and carry license, but we're an open, we're an open, um, carry state where you can walk into Walmart with your gun on your side. Um, there's so many people that it, try to hurt you here in the U S you will have civil war in there is a matter of time. Uh, yeah, because there's militia that are out there, the um, three percenters um, that are trying to undermine. I'm not from UK, but basically every country in Europe is like that, Bianca. London. Yeah, you're not in London. You said you're from Bulgaria. So you said in the Europe region, so you're you have a gun that you carry. And then you have one that your job gives you, but how are you able to carry a weapon? Oh, you, you said that you had a weapon, but you don't carry it. It stays home. Hmm. Okay. So my question is, would you use it if someone tried to come into your house? Would you use it to protect you and your family? Yeah, I don't want civil war to come here, but it seems like it is. And not only that, it's almost like um, the coronavirus was the coronavirus. 
And then all of a sudden it kind of became a race war. Um, so I will try not to, our walls are not as yours. We'll try not to, cause our walls are not as yours. Hmm. Yeah, but we can um, carry our weapons openly here to protect ourselves. The world has become a crazy place. Even if I try to protect myself and kill someone, I will get in jail. Self-defense? So if somebody comes into your home and they break into your house and they go to harm you, you're not going to shoot them? Because you're going to go to jail. So you won't do self-defense. You wouldn't claim self-defense. I know somebody comes up in my house with my girls. They're going to eat a few bullets. Definitely eat a few bullets. No, we don't have your walls. No, I will not try to, but if I have to, I will. Bianca, sweetie, said LOL. So is everybody ready for Thanksgiving? Are you going to eat turkey? Are you going to eat ham? You're going to have yams? Green bean casserole. Yum. And yams. Yum. Yams are yummy. Sweet potato pie. Stuffing. Got to have stuffing. Yeah, unfortunately, Thanksgiving for some people aren't going to be the same. Your walls are good, but bad at the same time. Are you saying laws, like L-A-W-S, when you're putting walls? Do you mean your turkey day? Thanksgiving. Oh, I don't know how to say it. Oh, that's sad. Are you saying L A W S? Law or type it for me. You said you aren't going to have a good turkey day. No, I said some people aren't going to have a good turkey day. Depends. It sounds the same when you speak it. Oh, laws. It's okay. I kind of figured you meant laws, not walls. So what are you going to do for Thanksgiving? You said you aren't going to have a good turkey day. Oh, I understand you. Why are you typing? Because you said um, up there, you said, or type it for me. So I typed it for you and you said, oh, laws. 
And so then I just said, I kind of figured you meant laws and not walls. You said type it. <laughs> Yeah, some people aren't going to have a good turkey day because they don't have the money to buy what items that they need for Thanksgiving. With people being out of jobs, some people collect unemployment, some people don't. Some people state only allows certain things, and here we are at, at, at will employment, so they can terminate you at any time with or without cause, and you can't really fight it. Oh, yeah, only the law word. Okay. What about you with no job? I want a job. And there's not many jobs out there. Oh, I won't have a good Thanksgiving day because we don't celebrate it in my country. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. If you came to the States, then you can enjoy Thanksgiving. Have you ever been to the States? Don't be sure we actually have more holidays. Don't be sure we actually have more holidays than you. I will not pay for a green card. I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. But people from the U.S. want to visit... Um, Yeah, I meant sorry. It's okay. We're just happy to be alive. I will say it again. Don't be sorry. We actually have more holidays than you. Oh, okay. So, what holidays do you celebrate? Do you celebrate Christmas? Do you celebrate New Year's? Do you celebrate Memorial Day? Do you um, do Labor Day? Easter? Do you do, do you do those holidays? Yeah, no Memorial Day. Okay. That's quite interesting. Thanksgiving is a worldwide holiday. It's only celebration of discovery of land that was already discovered. Ooh. Don Cato, a.k.a. Grey Wolf. Worldwide holiday. It's only celebration discovery of land that was already discovered. This is true. The Indians and the pilgrims. Unfortunately, the pilgrims took from the Indians.
I'm going to take a sip. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Are you there, Gray Wolf? I see it went from five to four. Did you leave? You guys should be, feel bad you killed a lot of Native Americans. Native heritage here. Gray Wolf can tell. I don't know why I'm typing. <laughs> Don Cato, a.k.a. Gray Wolf. I love that. Gray Wolf. So that's your Native American name? Since you said Native Heritage here? Are you planning your revenge? Um, my ancestors should feel bad that they care that they killed a lot of Native Americans, but, um, my family that I have is mixed with, um, my daughters are mixed with, um, four different Indians. Blackfoot, Cherokee, um, Blackfoot, Cherokee, um, Iroquois, Blackfoot, Cherokee, Iroquois, and one other one. I am actually. German, Irish, and Dutch. So, Gray Wolf, is that your Native American name? Cato Indian. And where, where do you, um, if you don't mind me asking, where do you reside? You have a little Hitler in DNA in you, huh? Uh, <laughs> that's what I've been told since I'm German, Irish, and Dutch. But I don't think that uh, I have any... Um, uh, Hitler tendencies. When I think of my heritage, I think of um, the beautiful uh, countries that they are, not um, what the past has represented it, represented it, um, as being. Like. I don't think of Germany as Germany tanks and swastikas. I think of Germany as beautiful hillsides, um, beautiful scenery, uh, Dutch, like in Switzerland, is beautiful. Um, Ireland would be awesome to see. I can... Um, Actually, uh, a lot of people, I, I'm short, so a lot of people are like, 
not I'm I'm not a dwarf or anything, but always um here where I live there's the trees that I call like gnome trees. <laughs> you don't know a country with now hillsides. You don't know a country with now with hillsides? How tall am I? About five four. <laughs> Uh, so I want to know about Grey Wolf pronounced Cato I'm asking if that's your Native American name and where are you from that sounds interesting never heard of Cato I know I've heard of Lumbee Indians Cherokee, Blackfoot, Iroquois, Frodo Baggins height. Aha! Okay, whatever. I'm glad you guys are getting a kick out of me. I can put you in my pocket. Ah! Ah! C-A is in cat. Cuh. Cuh. K-do. K-do. Ka. Cat. Cat. K-do. Am I saying it correctly? K-do? And I can, you can put me in your pocket. <laughs> okay. That was a good joke. Oh, no. He said no. Okay. No. Well, you said you were short. Yeah, but I didn't mean like. How tall was Prince? I forget. He was short, but. Oh, like Cadillac, Cadillac, Cato, Cadillac, K, K do. Oh, K do. I said I was five four. K do. Okay, K do Indian. K do. Cat do maybe. Cat do. I don't know. It's beautiful. I just not like. I know I like gray wolf. That's beautiful. K do. Kato. I don't know. I just like Grey Wolf. Um, I've had a lot of Indian friends with um, really interesting Indian names. I had one guy that I worked with with a really long time for a really long time. His um, name was Philip at birth. And um, he actually got his name legally changed to his Indian given name, which was Horse. Um, his brothers had um, given names as well, but they chose to use their Indian names. Oh, <laughs> I guess Bianca Sweetie is getting how tall is Bianca Sweetie? Hold on just for a second, guys. Okay, so I'm back. I have to convert that in meters. I don't know what is that. 
Well, if I said I was 5'4", Bianca Sweetie said she's almost 5'8". So, I'm still trying to ask Grey Wolf about where he's from. I'm interested in finding out where he's from. So let's hope that 2021, that if there is a true vaccine that is safe, that's not going to kill people, and it's not a chip to, but that's what they said, a chip to find out what we're doing at all times. That's scary. And I don't know because, like, tell me how the President of the United States got COVID. I just looked into the future. Why so serious? Oh, Bianca's asking where Grey Wolf is from, too. Do you know the reference, though? I just looked into the future. Keto Indians lived in live in LA, MS, Texas before French came from the south and English from the north. Lived in LA, MS, and Texas before French came from. No, why so serious? One. Why so serious? Do I know where why so serious reference comes from? Nope. Am I so serious? I'll give you a hint. Yeah, do you? Yeah, give her one. Why so serious? Where is why so serious from? A movie? He's a crazy clown. Crazy clown. Um, I know two clowns, green hair. She may be, don't watch that Batman, the Joker. Doesn't like bats. Oh.
Bianca Sweetie said she doesn't like the bats. Why so serious? That came from Batman? Man. I think I was just missed the the whole I just always got into the plot of Batman. I don't even think that I remember why so serious. The Joker off Batman, yeah. Google why so serious. Now I know who the Joker is. I know who the Joker is played by. Well, the Joker's been played by several people and so has Batman. My favorite Batman was Michael Keaton. The original one that they had was Michael Keaton. Yeah. Ben Affleck, I don't think made a good Batman. Sorry. Val Kimner kind of made a good Batman. Um... I don't know. I think Michael Keaton was the best one. Early, you mentioned race war. What did you mean? Batman. Oh, yeah. Favorite Joker was Heath Ledger. Who did not love Heath Ledger. As a female, I think all females loved Heath Ledger. Hot! Yeah. So sad about his passing, but we won't go there. We lost a lot of um, famous actors. They said that he actually... Um, Went crazy when he played the Batman character in that, uh, the, not the Batman, the Joker character. And that's what led to his death because he was so serious about playing the role of the Joker. You don't even know the reference. Tara, Tara, ra, 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 Batman. Hmm. Okay, so Grey Wolf asked me a question. Earlier you mentioned race war. What did you mean? Race war. Okay. Between the races of um, mostly blacks and whites. Um, a lot of people that are... Um, a lot of people right now are upset that Biden became president and not Trump. They are upset because Biden picked a black woman. Um, as a vice president. But I think that's an important step in the world. Um, women have been overlooked for quite a long time. Hillary Clinton was going to be president. She did some messed up things, but she was almost president. Um, Obama was the first black president. Um, but a lot of people, a lot of people didn't like that, that uh, black people have any power. Um, there's a lot of white supremacist people that are in the world. A lot of um, haters. Um, it's kind of hard because um, I I was raised to. Um, Love all colors. Love all nationalities, all colors. I wasn't raised to hate any color. I wasn't a uh, white power. Um, I, n I never even really... I saw it on TV. She's... 
she's black. That's comical. Neither is Obama black. They are mixed or interracial. Yes, that's true. They were mixed. But they weren't white. They weren't like me. Um, they weren't truly black, but they're more black heritage than anybody else that's been in presidency. You love all colors. You, what? I don't know what that stands for. I love all races, all colors, all creeds. Uh, like I said, I was never raised to uh, LGBTQ. Oh, that's fine. Lesbian, gay, bi, transsexual, queer. That's that's their that's their um, that's their thing. I don't mind it. If that's what they decide to do, that's what they decide to do. If you don't, if you've never, I've had friends that are gay. Um, actually, gay guys make the greatest girls friends. Why? Because you never have to worry about a guy, gay guy hitting on you. <laughs> He's always looking at the guys with you. <laughs> So if you're looking at the guy and you're like, wow, he's cute, your gay friend is going, yeah, he's hot. So it's kind of like you have a girlfriend, but he's a guy. But I don't mind. That's their choice. I believe sometimes that um, people were born to, to know. Maybe they were born, like I said, to know that they're um, – that they weren't – that when they were born that maybe they were born a man and really they were wanted to be a female but it didn't happen that way but i don't i don't i don't discriminate against anybody i don't discriminate against any color because this is the way my motto has always been if i cut you you're going to bleed red and then if I cut myself, I'm going to bleed red. So we all bleed the same color. There is a difference between race and ethnicity and nationality. Yes, that's true. That's very true. I was just saying that, that a lot of people don't like the fact that we are, um, have become, um where where we're we're it's not ever i don't know if it's ever going to be um equality in all races there's always going to be minorities what why why does there have to be a minority why can't we all just be equal god created everybody equal Wow, you think about the fact that I pretend to be gay and get into women's changing room once. <laughs> if that's what you did, that's what you did. That was your choice. Bianca said they don't mind as long as they don't come on to me. That's why I said. I've been to a lot of drag uh, shows. Some drag queens are drag queens where they are men that have converted to women. Some drag queens are men that just do it for show. But I don't, like I said, I don't discriminate against any race, any religion, any color, any ethnicity, or any nationality. I... I was born to love everybody. I don't get into sober women. 
So you want drunk women? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I don't get into sober women? <laughs> Drunken women are so easy to get with. <laughs> ah! Okay, at 23, I believe that because you're only two years after you became legal of 21. Well, in the States, you got to be 21 to be legal. So drunken women are so easy to get with. Race is used as a social construct, which has led to institutional racism in this country. Race is used as a social construct, which has led to institutional racism in this country. It's true. Very true. But I wish there wasn't even anything known as racism. Racism shouldn't really exist. I wish it never existed. I believe that if if you were put out here on earth for a purpose and a reason and I think that your race shouldn't matter. It shouldn't it shouldn't just like your age, it shouldn't define who you are. You define who you are by what actions that you take. Why should I love challenge? I just look for fast, sexy time. <laughs> okay. So you're just looking for a facts of fast, sexy time. 60 second man. That's why. <laughs> like, let me think. Was there a Missy, Missy Elliott song that um, was almost like that? <laughs> Break me up. Um, what is that song? I don't even remember. No, I mean get a girl fast. No fast sexy time. <laughs> so she has to be drunk for you to get her fast. No. That should not be. Recently, Cato Nation won back a large portion of Oklahoma per Supreme Court. Oh. That's cool. I'm glad. Clap for that. Yep. So are you from Oklahoma? Okay, so question, do you, okay, no, maybe I shouldn't ask that. I was going to ask, Grey Wolf, do you live on a reserve? Oh, he said no. He's not from Oklahoma. Hmm. Or driven from out of Louisiana. Hmm. That's sad. Nobody should be driven out of anywhere. That's what I'm saying. I don't under I don't I don't think anybody should be driven out of anywhere. Like why? That's like still being um trail of tears oh it's about time some people recognize Bianca Sweetie said those lands are given to the white settlers you know what's sad is even though my skin color is white, I don't believe it was right what my ancestors did to any um, Native Indians have black magic on their side, though. That's good. 
I, I don't believe like, like I said, I don't believe that, um, even though I'm white, I don't think what my ancestors did was right. I don't believe that my ancestors were right for slavery at all. I don't believe that my ancestors were right for taking other people's land from them. Like I said earlier, when I was talking about Thanksgiving and the Indians and the pilgrims, and I said the pilgrims took everything from the Indians, I don't, I don't believe that's right. I believe that everybody has a, a place. <laughs> when we embed the time machine, we should correct that. Yeah. I think, um, I think that I have the same feelings. Many of the Indians were dark skinned Indians, which were labeled Negro. Mm. I see. I, like I said, I'm I'm just I uh, I get saddened, very saddened, very emotional. I can only say like m my belief would be like the um Like the Martin Luther King saying that um, I believe that we should all be equal and that we should all be brothers and sisters and come together in one nation and, and not have where we have different. It should all just be equal. No minorities. No racism. Oh, good job. You make her cry. <laughs> Are you happy? No, that it's, it's okay. It's just sad that his, his people had to go through that. They, nobody should have to do that. Nobody should have to go through that. Oh, no, I know it's the truth. It's okay. I'm not bothered. I just got sad because I thought, how would that be to be, I don't know how it would be to be driven out of um, a state because of your um, race or um, authenticity. I, I just wouldn't know how that would feel. I mean, I know how it feels um, to be um, how can I say I have a lot of prejudiced people because like I said, I told you my children are a mix of different Indians. So I know what it's like to um, to have people look at me differently, have people look at my children differently. What it's like to go into a doctor's office and my kids want to play with the other kids and their parents pull them away from my children because they're mixed race.
that's why I've been well my ancestors did write history so someone else wrote history for us but we passed our from family to family without books didn't write didn't write history so someone else wrote his story for us I'm just looking at my phone. You don't even look Indian how they know you are one, though. Makes people are beautiful. This is true. You don't even look Indian how they know you are one, though. Oh, I'm not Indian. My children are mixed. My children have... Like I said, they're black. They're four different types of Indian, but they're light skin. They're not dark skin. But I believe all people are beautiful. And I really don't care about um, the color of your skin because it's what's inside your heart. It's what's inside of you. That matters. Doesn't matter um, what color you are. Chinese people are from China. Japanese people are from Japan. Russians are from Russia. Doesn't matter. If you, if if you you can't judge a book by its cover, you have to know what's on the inside of the person. Get to know their heart. Get to know who they are. Martians are from Mars. Oh my God, you're silly all the time. Are you drunk? Are you drunk? <laughs> Martians are from Mars. Yeah, women are from uh, Venus and men are from Mars. Or is it women are from Mars, men are from Venus? No, it's the opposite way. Yeah, I'm always drunk. I bet you are at 23. At 23, let me think. Um, at 21, 22. At 22 is when I met my husband. At uh, 24, I want to say we were married. Um, like I said, I have four beautiful children who are all mixed and they're all beautiful. And I believe all people are beautiful. I guess I just don't think that, um, I just don't think that ever the world is going to be where, I don't believe in marriage, you could live together without marriage. Yeah, you can live together without marriage. I lived, I lived with my husband before we got married. But marriage is a commitment it's a it's a man-made thing some man-made type law 
but marriage kind of consummates that you are a couple and you say your vows um, and you are supposed to mean those vows when you say them. You can you could live together without marriage very easily. That's that's very easy to do. Did that. But um marriage makes it to where you're committed and like I said you say vows and you have a preacher and you profess your love for each other and promise yourself that you'll be with that person till death do you part. I mean, that always doesn't happen. My parents are divorced. My husband's parents were divorced. That's why I don't like the word or like to use the word divorced at all. That doesn't mean anything if you didn't love them. You love them no matter what. You don't need marriage. Mm. Yeah. But I believe that marriage is a commitment. I mean, you can love somebody and not be married to them. You can live with them. But again, I will say um, oh, Bianca Sweet so said, love you. Hope to see more of your videos. Thank you. I want to see some of your videos. I think you have a YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. I'd like to see you do some videos. I got to go make burgers, peeps. Ah! Marriage is just a capitalistic bullshit. Oh. Okay. So you're never going to get married. You don't want to get married? That's because you're 23. You're 23. You're still young. When you find the right person, you will marry them. I believe. Maybe you won't, since if you don't believe in marriage, just depends. No, I will have three lives in harem. Three wives? Or lives? You mean wives? <laughs> so I want to know about more about Grey Wolf he sounds very interesting yes I know what a harem is I'm not dumb. You know what a harem is? God. Go ahead with your harem of women. A harem. <laughs> Good luck on that harem of women. Because most women do not like to share their man. Because I know for a fact that I don't like to share mine. No how, no way. Not one single bit. I'm a jealous bee. Sorry. You look at my man sideways, I want to slap you. Sorry. You drive by and your neck has to jerk to look at him. Mm -mm. Slap. Want to slap? <laughs> Be like, B, go find you a man. There's plenty of men out there. Go find you, man. Don't try to look at mine. I got mine. You got yours. Go. Shoo. Bye.
that's why I wanted finally you laughed. I asked you know what it means because at first you didn't laugh. <laughs> because I'm like, you really want to hear them? I mean, seriously. Uh, what? <laughs> Three women. Three women, three women, and you're going to be with all three women? Are you going to be like that? What is that? Oh, my God. I used to watch it all the time on TV. The guy who has, like, five wives that, that um, oh, can't think of it. Possibly more. I know what it is. You're 23. You like girls who get drunk because they're easy to get with. So you're going to have a harem of three or more that are all drunk. Sister wives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me what the name of the show was, Bianca, sweetie. Sister wives. Yeah. With the one man with all the women. Notice. That they get along sometimes and sometimes they don't. And there's always drama. Don't want drama. Oh, Bianca said, guys, nice chatting with you guys. Yep, nice chatting with you. Bianca, sweetie, thanks for being here. Ready to see your videos, and you're going to go make some burgers. Sounds yummy. Gray Wolf, are you still with us? I want to know if Gray Wolf is still here. I'm so interested in his story. Not that I'm not interested in security guard. Three or more women drunk all the time. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. An alcohol company. Oh. Wait. Is that a religious thing? At HR 100? Viral or greed? What? Is that a religious thing? Or greed? Oh. Very good question, Gray Wolf. Very good question. His harem. Get it, I guess. I knew what you were talking about. His harem. Is it religious or greed? I think that he's joking because he's only 23 and he wants to have a harem. Because he wants drunken women. No, I'm just kidding. You don't get it, I guess. Dude, if that's what you prefer, that's what you prefer. I laughed. It took me a second because I was like, he wants a harem a three or more women. Elon Musk has more money than you and I will ever see in a lifetime, just like Bill Gates. Oh, okay. Three PMS at one time. Good luck with that, youngster. <laughs> 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 
That was a good one, Gray Wolf. <laughs> Three women PMS and at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not good. Three women PS and at the same time. You don't even know what PMS is? Oh, my Lord. Google it. Google PMS. It's what women go through. Google PMS. You said you Googled other stuff. But I know that somebody was trying to make 51 states. I know it because I read it in the news. I'm not making that up. For some weird reason, I read it in the news, on Google News. Have you Googled PMS yet? Oh, call it just period then. Huh? Oh, your period. <laughs> uh, yeah. Puerto Rico wants to be the 51 state. Yes! I knew it! I knew somebody was trying to be... I, I know that Hawaii was the 50... That, that Hawaii was 50 states. But I know that somebody wanted to be the 51 states. I thought it was somebody in the U.S. that was a small settling thing. Not Pennsylvania, but something that, that they wanted to make their... Um, I can't, oh my God. It's like um, New England state or something that um, wanted to, wanted to be um, their, their own state. Sorry, had to step away for a minute. Um, Puerto Rico, it's an American territory, but it wants to be a state. Did you look up the chat? I need to really Google who that was. That was doing that but if Grey Wolf said that it's Puerto Rico it's Puerto Rico so there's three people so Grey Wolf HRI 100 who's my third person that's here Got to get a drink again. The other one is you, my dear. Oh. Okay. So it's me, you, and Great Wolf. Okay. Don't count yourself as a person. <laughs> okay. I think that when I had scheduled my 2 o'clock original YouTube video to happen, I would have had more people since I had it scheduled. I really wanted to do that. And then I had to reschedule it at 4. And I had sent all the people messages that I would be on at 2. And there was probably more people here at 2. than had to reschedule it for 4. And there probably was more people here at 4. But I didn't get a chance to make it at 4. 
I would really like to more have more people in live chat so then we can really talk about things that are going on in the world. Why didn't you read the uh, have a different meaning when you read it? Why didn't you read the you? You have a different meaning when you read it. Not for sure what you mean. Don't count. Don't you count yourself as a person? Oh, don't you count yourself as a person? Oh, man, boomers. I didn't read it properly when you said, don't you count yourself as a person? I thought you meant, yeah, I count myself as a person, but I didn't know in the chat. I just always look at how many people are there. Are you a boomer? No. A baby boomer? Is that what you mean? A baby boomer? No, I'm not a baby boomer. I don't think. I'm not a millennial. I'm not a baby boomer. No, I'm not. Do you know how old I am? I don't even want to tell you my age. I'm definitely, let's see, 23. If I just say add so many years, you have four kids, you are one. Because I have four kids, I'm a baby boomer? No, no, no. You've got the wrong idea. Normal people have two kids. You have four. Oh, Gray Wolf said I'm a Gen Xer. A Generation Xer? I don't see myself as any of that, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you notice my name, it's crazy for the 80s. Why I'm crazy for the 80s is because I graduated high school in the 80s. The 80s was a fun time. Boomer was born before what, 1965? Uh, I was born after 1965. You were close, but I was born after 65. I'll still consider myself a baby boomer. Or a Gen Xer. I, I don't know. I consider myself to be A, lucky to be alive, B, to be breathing, and I don't have COVID. <laughs> Oh, so I'm a gender Xer. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I'm a generation X. If that's what it is, then I guess that's what it is. Give me just a second, guys. Gotta take a short minute break. Hold on just for a second. Don't go anywhere.
<laughs> oh my god, that's not fair. So yeah, I had to go to the restroom. You're right. I'm human. Sorry. I had to go pee. I had to go pee pee. Well, I don't. I had to go to the restroom. I'm a female. Millennial is 2000 current. Yeah, I know. I know what a millennial is. Trust me. My youngest son is a millennial. But actually, he was born before 2000, but he's a millennial. 1965 to 1980 was Gen X. Okay, fine. I'm a Gen Xer. I'll be a Gen Xer. And what am I then? I'm 23. You're a millennial. <laughs> or a... See, because... Uh, Gen Generation Z is a Generation Z. No, Generation. No, it's Generation Y. <laughs> generation Y is twenty three year olds. Generation Y because all they can do is say why, why. So it's Generation Y. I won't even say Millennial if you're twenty three. It's Generation Y. And see, you know what's funny is most people that are your age, I'm not saying this to be mean, but most people your age is the IDK um, group where everything you ask is, I don't know, but you, I think, would know. But I think Grey Wolf definitely knows. But Grey Wolf seems to have a lot of knowledge about a lot of things. I'm almost here an hour, and I didn't say why once. <laughs> this is true. This is true. You didn't say why once. But that's because you're in a chat room typing. Well, that's good. That was a good one. So, Grey Wolf, what generation are you from? You don't think that makes a difference. It's uh, it's like joking. He already said he is an Xer. He said he was an Xer? Where did he say he was an Xer? Uh, I don't believe he said he was a Gen X. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, maybe he did. Or was he talking to me? Because when you said normally people have two kids, you have four, and then he wrote Gen Xer, I think he was talking about me. I don't think he said he was a Gen Xer. He just has a lot of knowledge about a lot of different things. See, he was referring to me. No, he didn't say he was. He has not spoken too much about his own self. He's being very... Um, I wouldn't say secretive. Very... Um, incognito. Like, he doesn't really want us to know too much. Checking in with my Instagram people. So sorry. Let's see. He said all of his granddad's history, and you say he don't talk about himself. He 
he hasn't, what I'm saying is he hasn't said too much about himself. He's talked about his ancestry and what has happened with his uh, Indian tribal um, heritage, but he really hasn't talked too much about himself. Like you said, you are a security guard and how old you are. Um, Grey Wolf really hasn't talked about who he is as a person or an individual. He's talked about his ancestors and what happened to his, his, um, yeah, his ancestors are about him. This is true, but he, like, he hasn't mentioned if he had kids. Oh, didn't you know you asked I'd be a boomer? Oh, didn't know you asked I'd be a boomer. Okay. Boomer. Okay, so boomer is what again? Born before, boomer was born before 1965. So you were born before 1965. Message retracted. What did you put, Grey Wolf? I don't get it. Grey Wolf took back his message. So he has five children. He was born in 1963. That's cool. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. You're four years older than me then. Message retracted. <laughs> oh, my. Let's see. He's deleting his messages because his FBI agent is watching him. <laughs> yeah, I erased it. He's deleting his messages because his FBI agent is watching him. That's kind of crazy. What are you guys doing? Why are you guys putting sideways crying emojis? You said you were born in 1963. Then you retracted that. They can't come on the res. So then you do live on the reservation. And the FBI agents can't come on the reservation. Is that what you're saying, Grey Wolf? Were you born in 1963 and do you have five kids? That's what I want to know. Because you said you were born in 1963, that you were a boomer, and that you had five kids. And then you said they can't come on the reservation. So your five kids can't come on the reservation, or you're saying the FBI can't come on the reservation? Sorry, I'm not American. What is res? I think res stands for reservation because he's Indian. So the FBI can't come on the reservation. His children probably live with him on the reservation. Yeah, FBI can't come on the reservation. Bam. I thought I was right. What? 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 Oh! Grey Wolf, say what you want to say. Stop retracting your messages. 
why should come on the reservation? They can't. Because he's on a reservation, it's protected. They have laws, they have Indian laws that they are protected, so the FBI can't go to the reservation. I forget who, um, I guess it depends on what reservation that you live on as far as what, um, as far as who would be their um, law. Yeah, federal law. Let's see. Tribal laws. Uh-huh. Okay. I wish I live in reservation. Oh. I guess that depends on what reservation you live on. I've heard some reservations are bad and I've heard some reservations are good. Tribal laws, yep. If it's true. So, what are we going to talk about, guys? I've been checking my phone just to see. I'm trying to get Instagram people that I talk to all the time that I sent an earlier message to that I was going to be here at 2 and then redid it that I was going to be here at 4. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Oh, it's funny how I'm typing with those big nails. Yeah. They're real. What's your thoughts on the virus and restrictions? Um, the virus we talked about earlier, but I believe it's devastating. I believe that some of it is hyped but because the media loves to hype it but it's true and factual i hate that people are dying from it um the restrictions i believe the restrictions are good for now because as soon as they it seems like they let up on the restrictions People started getting sick again, and then there started to be hot spots again. You think it's man-made and hype? Well, the virus did come from Wuhan, China. And like I said, SARS was here before COVID. And SARS didn't devastate like this. Um, the restrictions, like I said, like as soon as they opened up the restaurants, um, as soon as they opened up the bars, as soon as they opened up the gyms, as soon as they opened up the theaters, it seemed as though people started to get sick again, where if you, like they said, stay home, yes, go to the store, but... CV has been around, founded in 1965. Yep, but it was never released. It was never released. And then it got released. It got leaked somehow. Purposely to kill Americans? Sometimes I believe so. I have a little bit of conspiracy theorist inside of me. I do. I think that 
they purposely did it to kill people off? I think so. Sheep herding, sheep herding. Um, I've heard of sheep herding. I don't know. I just, I just think that it's, it's, um, it was meant to take out a lot of people purposely. I hate that it targeted the elderly people in nursing homes. But if you think about it, stand here, go there, do this, don't move, take a shot. Yeah, this is true. Stand here, go there, do this, don't move, take a shot. Mm -hmm. I guess I just think that... Um, it was meant to take out people. Unfortunately, it took out elderly people. But if you think about it, like I was going to say, elderly people receive what? Social Security benefits. So why not wipe out elderly people? Yeah, depopulization. That's what I'm saying. Take out the elderly so then... We don't have to pay them Social Security benefits anymore. So then the richer men that are in the, um, how can I say, should I say the Senate, the, um, uh, government people make more money because that money that they don't have to pay Social Security benefits to or their family members because their family members may not be living either or whatever the case may be, or they're not able to get it. And then it also has targeted black people. Why? Why black people? And minorities, as they say. NWO, New World Order. Perhaps, like I said earlier, I don't know if anybody's familiar with, uh, I don't know if I should say this or not, it may offend anybody, but I don't know if anybody's familiar with NFAC. I don't know if you're familiar with the three percenters. Um, They are um, the three percenters are people who are um, militia that um, want to do what they feel is correct, even though it's not, they don't care. NFAC is a black type of a militia. Um, the person who is in charge of NFAC is actually, um, actually did run for presidency. And that's Grandmaster J. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube. I may not post videos lately and haven't posted any gaming videos lately because I've been looking for work and I was sick a lot.
a lot of YouTube is bad for your health. Ah, uh, if you say. I don't think YouTube is bad. My real name is Olaf and I love something. Olaf is from Frozen, right? Isn't that Olaf from Frozen? Okay, Grey Wolf. You're saying statistics are deceptive. Seeing some don't understand the purpose of militia, but to each his own. I understand what the purpose of militia is. I just don't agree with some of the same things that they do. I don't think, I don't, like, like the KKK. I don't believe in the KKK. Um, I don't believe in what they stand for. Um, I don't believe in what the three percenters stand for. I believe in what NFAC stands for. I'm glad you like warm hugs. <laughs> Do I have to be drunk to give you a warm hug? Eighties gal, you don't believe in militia. How dare you? I believe in militia. I'm saying some of the militia have deceitful things that they want to do. Um, to the American people, they are not the. There are some militia that's not here to protect us. There are militia that are out there to harm us. Because they don't believe in what we believe in. The militia should be on the same page of what's happening with their world political machine. Yeah. True. I've got a lot of people that are on peacekeeping missions in Africa and in Nigeria. Let's see. So the conversation got too deep for me. Help, I'm going to drown. No, don't drown, silly. Talk about something. Okay, so talk about something. I've been asking what do you want to talk about. Talk about something. Okay, we talked about COVID. We talked about other stuff. Talk about, um, we talked about how you don't celebrate Thanksgiving um, in Bulgaria. Um... We talked about me looking for work. You want to talk about Olaf. Dude. 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 Dude, 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 dude. Okay. Crazy.
Your reactions are so funny. <laughs> That's because you're funny. That's because you're killing me with your jokes of drunken women and harems. Then you ask me what a harem is. Then you say that I'm dumb because Western Europe and Eastern Europe. But then you say it was a joke, which I understand. That didn't bother me. So why am I the golden goose? I'm the golden claw. Not the golden goose, the golden claw. See, claw, claw. It's my claw pillow. Golden claw. Gaming machine. Spin around. See, my arms even move back and forth. I can move my arms like I'm on Star Trek. I'm at the helm. I can turn it. I can turn it this way. I can turn it that way. It moves. It slides. Golden goose. Do I lay golden eggs if I'm the golden goose? I wish that I had laid golden eggs. <laughs> the golden claw is a new brand for the golden goose. Okay, great. I want more people to join. Gray Wolf, are you still with us? I need Gray Wolf to talk. Gray Wolf seems like he has things that he wants to say. I, I'm part-time comedian. I am practicing right now. <laughs> okay. Oh. For a few more. Oh, okay. You're here for a few more. Is there anything that you want to talk about, Grey Wolf? You seem very knowledgeable. Let's see. For a few more, for a few more years, I was passing through. You popped up in my algorithm. Oh. Okay. So you're passing through YouTube and I popped up in your algorithm. So I will, the algorithm is fake news. What? So now I think I have to go to YouTube and find Don Cato, a.k.a. Grey Wolf. Is that how I would look it up on YouTube? Is Don Cato, a.k.a. Grey Wolf? My camera doesn't want to focus sometimes. Sorry. Let's see. It'd be easier for him to send you the link. Look up who me. Look up who me. Question mark, question mark. Look you up on YouTube. To see your YouTube channel. Do you have a YouTube channel? You're on YouTube. Oh, you don't have anything on my page anymore. LOL. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Why, why don't I have anything on your page anymore? What did you have on your page when you had when when you had when you had things on your page? What did you have? 
Yeah, he used to stream a side the campfire. What? <sighs> Gray Wolf, what did you have on your page that now you don't have on your page anymore? Ugh. I'm waiting, Gray Wolf, for a response. So I can't so I can't find any content. I'd like to know more about it. Oh, outdoor things, cool. What kind of outdoor things? Fishing. Um, I took it all down. Oh, okay. Outdoor things like fishing, like on the reservation, um, um, uh, hunting, like outdoor things. Like nature. Quads, hiking, shooting, zip lining. Ooh, zip lining. Yes. Want to do that. Bucket list, zip lining, parachuting, bucket list. Yeah, yeah. Shooting, did that. Hiking, it's cool. I want to do zip lining, parachuting. For real, for real. That sounds like fun. Oh. I guess HRI 100 left. So now it's just me and Gray Wolf. I'm sad that you took your stuff off. Um, you should get the things you want, the rewards for the life you've earned. You should get the everyone. I'm also back to my channel. I'm reading the news right now. There is debate that the guy is still on stage and various TV shows. However, the 64 year old is currently recovering from a stroke. The veteran comedian recently suffered a stroke and his family confirmed the news with a statement on November 16th. The entertainer's family indicated he would be back on his feet soon. His family asked for privacy during this difficult period and expressed their gratitude to the community for their support. They also implored others to pray for the comedian's health. The message came through a post on his official Instagram page that partly read, while he is beginning his road to recovery, we are faithful and optimistic that he will bring laughter into our hearts. YouTube was flagging my page or post. It was quite restrictive. Whoa. During his career, the father of two has starred on TV shows like the popular sitcom A Different World and movies like Jingle All the Way. Apart from his career as a comedian, Sinbad served in the US. That's kind of sad that it was flagging your page for posts. It was quite restrictive. That's strange. What kind of things YouTube was flagging my page or posts? What kind of material if it was outdoor material, why would they flag flag your flag your page or posts? 
Are you new to YouTube? No. I know that they can restrict certain things. I'm just saying with the material that you have posted, if it was outdoors, it's kind of, I don't know. I I think that I've only had one YouTube thing that I, um, that I had and, um, They, they, um, said it was something and I had to, um, uh, I had to contact YouTube and, um, state that, um, like it was an appeal. I had to do an appeal with YouTube and I won. Because they said it was too sexual. But I won because I, I said that the other people were showing more. But now YouTube um, has become even more restrictive. One of uh, a famous YouTuber that I watch all the time just did a um, post on that uh, one of the really, really big YouTubers got... Uh, deleted well kicked off of YouTube permanently and she was huge on YouTube but she got banned and people are really surprised that she got banned but the person that I normally watch was just talking about how YouTube has become more restrictive yeah you either take it down change it or that sort of thing so if your stuff was about outdoor things What what kind of outdoor things did you did you post that they found offensive? Did they find it offensive? Amazing Polly got banned. Yeah, that is that that's her name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I watched Bikini Ifrit and Bikini Ifrit um talked about uh how youtube is becoming more restrictive and that's why she wants to do most of her content on her patreon channel but she still posts things on youtube and she's been posting a lot on instagram lately Your your emo J is cute. All right, so I just took everything down. Hmm. Did you have hunt? You said hunting and stuff. Did you have any like hunting things on there? Did you have things uh, uh on there with the reservation? I don't know, it just sounds interesting to know about your 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 background and your history. I'm not trying to make dollars, so it didn't matter to me. Oh, okay. I understand. Off-roading. Hmm. So you weren't trying to make dollars, so it didn't matter to you that your stuff got taken down off of YouTube, and you're saying off-roading. So you were off-roading. No, I'm not, I'm, it's okay. I just, like I said, I'm interested in your, um, more about your Native American heritage. I thought maybe your post would have some of that on there. That would be awesome. Oh, okay, ask. Uh, just asking um, 
do you really have five kids? Were you really born in 63 and you live on the reservation? And do they live on the reservation with you? And um, you go by Indian tribal laws. Um, I just find all this interesting. Um, do you like living on the reservation? Do you have a lot of friends on the reservation? Are you putting check mark, check mark, check mark green? Am I, when you put, you said, oh, okay, ask. So I'm asking and you put all green check marks. So yes, you were born in 63. Yes, you have five children. And yes, you live on the reservation. I guess that's what the three check marks green means. You told me to ask, so I'm asking. Are you married? Do you have a harem? <laughs> Just kidding. I have properties off as well as in LA and California. Oh, okay. You have properties off the reservation as well as in LA and California. That's cool. I'm heck no, LOL. Louisiana. So you don't live on a reservation. You live in Louisiana. And you have properties off as well as in LA and California, Los Angeles and California. So you don't live on a reservation. Oh my God, I'm so confused. So you live in Louisiana, um, let's see, on the bayou, primary is reservation. My harem, that's so awful. These headphones drive me crazy sometimes. So you said no and heck no. So no and heck no. No and heck no that you're married. Are you married, single? Do you have five kids? <laughs> You're being very secretive, Gray Wolf. Not married and no harem. <laughs> Good. Do you have five kids? <laughs> no harem. <laughs> Uh, my kids are grown-ups. Yeah. If you were born in 63, yeah, your kids are grown-ups. Well, see, this is a strange thing. I have 
two kids that are grown ups, and then I have one that's millennial, and then I have a 13 year old. Yeah. And I just became a grandmother in January. My oldest daughter had a child, but my oldest daughter lives with me. And my youngest daughter, who's 13, lives with me. My two boys don't live with me. What's that face for? Tell me what the face is for. So you're not married. Were you married before? And now you're divorced? You said 13. Yeah. I can name all my children's ages. <laughs> my 13 year old was a heaven sent. Um. A heaven sent surprise. I'm not saying she wasn't expected. She was just a, a heavenly surprise for me at the age that I had her at. Since I was considered a high risk pregnancy at my age when I had her. Yep, understood. So were you married before? I'm trying to get more people. But I guess since I wasn't here when I was originally scheduled to be here, that's why people probably got upset and decided not to be here, unfortunately. 22 years. You are married for 22 years. And then you got divorced. That's a long time to be married. Married for 22 years. Ooh. And then not to be with that person anymore? Oh. Now, I'm, now I probably would cry again. Because to be with someone for 22 years, you had a lot of love for that person at one time. Are you still with me?
You're still good friends. That's good. I guess after 22 years, you'd probably still remain good friends. At least you divorced, I guess, on good terms. Still kind of sad, though. Yeah, yeah. Aww, she went to jail. LOL, kind of messed things up. That's sad. I'm not going to ask what she went to jail for. That's too personal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.